Hello and praise the name of Jesus. These are my revelations with Apostle Frank from Powerhouse Impact Church and Apostle Frank Healing Ministries here in Nairobi, Kenya. Today I want to preach to you about your promise. Your promise. Psalms 119 verses 50. Reading from NIV version. My comfort is my, in my suffering is this. Your promise preserves my life. My comfort in my suffering is this. Your promise preserves my life. This promise that we have from the Lord is the one that will preserve us during hard times. You see, we are in a journey. And this journey is full of ups and downs. Difficult things and hard things. Things happening from all sources. COVID, cancer, death, fear of anxieties. We are afraid of many things. But the Bible says that the promise of God preserves us. Praise the name of Jesus. That is why when Jesus, when we give our life to Jesus, we get a promise that we are going to see Jesus one day. This is what keeps us. You see, it is a promise that we have that gives us the impetus, the momentum, and the propulsion Hallelujah! To continue despite challenges. It is the promise that God has given us that gives us the impetus, the momentum, and the propulsion during these times of difficult times. We are in difficult times, but the promise of God keeps us moving, keeps us walking, keeps us laughing, keeps us rejoicing. We are always happy because of a promise. We are children with a promise. We are not children who have just been left without any promise. We have a promise from God. God has promised to lift us. God has promised to bless us. God has promised to give us a good life. God has promised to give us a good future and our hope. God has promised us that one day we will see Him with, with our eyes. Imagine seeing the creator of the world. If today you want to meet, you would want to see the MCA or the senator or a small man in your village. How much more would you not want to see Jesus one day, the creator of the world, the creator of the universe, the one who said, let there be and there was. From nothing he created the world. The Bible says we are comforted during these difficult times by the promise of God. Praise the name of Jesus. One day, the disciples were crossing to go to the other side and Jesus had said to them, let us cross over to the other side. But when they were crossing, there were storms, there were difficult times, there were hard things, and they and and the disciples forgot their promise and they started crying. You know why you are crying? Why you are tormented in your mind? You know why you are having depression? It's because you have forgotten the promise of God. Jesus said, let us go over to the other side. He never said, let us sink under. He said, let us go over. And when he said, let us go over, he overcame all the challenges that we were going to face when Jesus called us. He had already overcome sicknesses and COVID and cancer and lack and poverty. All demons from hell were defeated when we say, Lord, write my name in the book of life. That is when all the demons were overcome by Jesus. But you see, you are depressed. You are in fear. You are tormented in your mind because you have forgotten the promise of God. There is a promise of God that he has released over your life. You need to remember Remember that one because that is what is going to give you momentum, impetus, and propulsion to move on to the next level. What promise has God promised you? He promised you, I'll give you a husband. I'll give you a house. I'll give you a building. I'll give you a ministry. I'll bless you. I'll give you a big name. When God said, I'll give you Abraham a big name, he meant exactly that. By then, Abraham was childless. He had nobody. He had no heir. He had nobody to inherit his wealth. But God meant exactly that. For the Bible says, the promises of God, they are yes, and they are a man. Jesus rose up and calmed the storm and he rebuked them for unbelief. Why? They forgot the promise that he had given unto them. He had said, We will go over to the other side. Jesus had already told them that we are not going to sink. We are not going to die. You are not going to get finished in the waters. There are many challenges that may come, but we are crossing over to the other side. Remember the promise of God, what he told you, and begin to claim it. For it is yes and amen, and it is still stands. This is Apostle Frank.